hello so now we start unit 6 where we are going to look at uh, the elasticity of demand and supply so let me quickly take you through the outline so in this unit where we will look at elasticity we will cover the price elasticity of demand then we will look at the cross price elasticity of demand so under price elasticity of demand, we will focus on the own price. That is, if you are looking at uh, the price of bread, how responsive will be the quantity demanded if the price of bread increases? Then if you go to the cross price elasticity of demand, we are looking at uh, the changes in the price of goods that are related to bread. How will they uh, the effect be if the price of those commodities change what would be the effect on the quantity demanded of over bread then we will look at the income elasticity of demand where we'll look at uh, the changes in quantity demanded uh, given uh, that there is a change in consumers income so remember here we we'll distinguish between when you're looking at income we will always be distinguishing between uh, normal goods and inferior goods and uh, if we are looking at cross price we'll be distinguishing between complements and the substitutes and finally we will end the unit with the elasticity of supply for further readings you can look at uh, Mankiw chapter number five and McConnell chapter number six okay so let's uh, start by first introducing elasticity so whenever we are talking about elasticity we are talking about the responsiveness how reactive is the quantity demanded how reactive is an item uh, as a result of the change in a given item how reactive is the dependent variable uh, due to the or as a result of the change in the independent variable so when we are talking about elasticity we are talking about the uh, responsiveness how does it respond is it positive or a negative response okay, so here we look at the responsiveness of quantity demanded or quantity supplied to changes in the factors affecting demand or supply respectively now you need to recall the factors or the determinants of demand and the determinants of supply for you to understand this unit better okay, so with that let's now start by defining the price elasticity of demand which is simply the ratio of the percentage change in quantity demanded of a product or resource to the percentage change in its price now when we are looking at this basically what we are seeing is that uh, we are looking at the measure of the responsiveness of buyers to a change in the price of a product or a resource if the price of bread goes up for example how would the buyers behave are they going to buy more or are they going to buy less if the price of salt was to go up would the buyers buy more or are they going to buy less or are they going to continue buying the same quantity that uh, quantities that they were buying before such changes so for, for all these uh, three cases we have different terminologies that we use to describe commodities that behave in any of the cases so we will look at the, the cases later so now if uh, we let x to be the product under consideration in other words if we assume that we are looking at good x which we've just put uh, as a general case so good x can be anything it can be a car it can be guavas it can be mangoes it can be uh, bread it can be butter and so on so we just assume that uh, we are working with good x if that is the case then it means that elasticity of demand as per definition is the percentage change in the quantity demanded of commodity x to the percentage change uh, in the price of commodity x so this uh, delta symbol here is used to mean change so we are reading this as percentage change in quantity demanded of x 
and this we are reading it as percentage change in the price of x now since uh, from the law of demand we know that uh, a higher price is associated with a lower quantity demanded holding other factors constant it means that the elasticity of demand will be a negative because when price increases here it means this part here will be reducing the change here will be negative it means we will have a negative here and the whole ratio will be negative but because of uh, uh, reading uh, for the sake of reading uh, numbers we will ignore the negative in other words you have to disregard the negative when you find your elasticity of demand that is for the own price elasticity of demand if you find that the answer is negative 4 you just read it as 4 and then you make your conclusion from your solution okay so let's uh, start by looking at elasticity uh, of demand so and I mean the elastic demand so we have several cases we have demand which is elastic and uh, inelastic and then we have other cases that we'll look at later where we look at unitary elastic perfectly elastic and perfectly inelastic so with elastic demand demand for a product or resource is said to be elastic if its price uh, i mean if its price elasticity is greater than 1 now we are saying greater than 1 because we said you disregard the negative in other words you get the absolute value of that elasticity uh, coefficient you will get and then read it as a positive number so it means that if you find that the elasticity after getting the absolute value is greater than one it means that demand is elastic in this case it means that then the percentage change in quantity demanded which is the numerator it will be greater than the percentage change in price because this can uh, for for this value to be greater than one it can only be true if the numerator is greater than the denominator so we remember that in the denominator we have percentage change percentage change in price so this can only be true if this numerator here is greater than this denominator then the whole ratio will be greater than one otherwise it will not okay so let's take an example suppose that prices increase by two percent and as a result quantity demanded reduce by three percent what is the price elasticity of demand okay so let's take the solution so remember that the formula for elasticity of demand is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price this is the general formula but we're going to look at uh, different cases so meaning elasticity of demand we are saying uh, there is a three so let's go back to the question so we're saying that suppose that prices increase by two percent and as a result quantity demanded reduced by three percent meaning on the numerator we have three percent and denominator we have two percent so we put three percent on change in quantity demanded and 2% on change in price and what we we'll have is 1.5 as the elasticity coefficient what this is and then from here we see that since this guy is uh, since uh, the coefficient is greater than 1 it means that demand is elastic we also have this uh, other case of inelastic demand now demand for a product or resource is said to be inelastic if its price elasticity is less than one now again remember we are looking at the absolute value here so if that absolute value is less than one then demand is said to be inelastic and in this case the percentage change in quantity demanded will be less than the percentage change in price this is because for the ratio of percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price let me just write that here so percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price percentage change in price for this ratio to be less than one it means that the denominator must be greater than the numerator otherwise it will not 
Therefore, what this means is that it will have a percentage change in quantity demanded, which will be less than the percentage change in the own price. For example, suppose that price of salt increases by 3% and as a result, quantity demanded of salt reduced by 1%. What is the price elasticity of demand? So, from here we see that price has increased by 3, quantity demanded has reduced by 1%. Meaning, numerator we have 1, uh, denominator we have 3. So, by the formula, uh, percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. And if we substitute the values, we have 1% on the numerator and 3% on the denominator. And if we solve this, we will have 0 0.33 as the elasticity coefficient. And from here, we can see that uh, this value is less than 1. Therefore, demand is inelastic. We also have a case where demand is unitary uh, elastic or simply unit elastic. Now, demand for a product or resource is said to be unitary or unit elastic if its price elasticity is 1. So in, the, uh, uh, in between the two cases, because if it's greater than 1, then demand will be elastic. And if it is less than 1, demand will be inelastic. Meaning that if demand is uh, uh, elasticity is equal to 1, then demand is unit elastic. Now, what this means is that this will, lead, uh, will cause the percentage change in quantity demanded to be equal to the percentage change in price. For example, suppose that price of a product increases by 20% and as a result, quantity demanded of that product reduces by 20%. What is the price elasticity of demand? Now, we see that price has uh, increased by 20% and as a result, quantity demanded has reduced by 20%, meaning we have 20% on the numerator and 20% on the denominator. So by the conventional formula, elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. And from there, we see that the 20% change in quantity has been recorded and 20% change in price has been recorded. And if you solve that, you, you will have the elasticity coefficient of 1. And since the elasticity coefficient is 1, it means that demand is unit elastic. Okay, so with that, we, co we conclude that uh, elasticity, if uh, when you're solving elasticity, you need to so find the coefficient and make sure that your coefficient should be uh, recorded as a positive value. In other words, you need to get the absolute value of that coefficient. And if the coefficient is greater than 1, it means that demand is elastic. And if the coefficient is less than 1, it means that demand is inelastic. And if the coefficient is equal to 1, it means that demand is unit or unitary elastic. Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, remember to send an email to moauelias at gmail.com. I will see you in uh, uh, session two where we're going to look at the types of uh, price elasticity of demand in more detail. Bye-bye.